Hello everyone, good evening. I'm Steve from You Can English Tutoring. In this video, I have invited Nisha, one of the recent uh, success stories. She appeared in her OET examination previously, but she scored very less marks. However, this time she came to me and she received a course for one month and she achieved her desired scores with more than what she was aiming at. She scored uh, 380 in her speaking and then 360 in listening, 380 in reading and then 320 in writing, which makes her uh, eligible to go to either UK or Ireland or New Zealand. First of all, I would like to congratulate you, Nisha. You have done a wonderful job. Congratulations. And I'm so happy to hear that you have made it. Could you please start by introducing yourself and your occupation first um, before you can go ahead further? Thank you. Okay, first of all, thank you so much, sir, for inviting me. Uh, my name is Nisha Vasava. I'm from uh, Gujarat, India, and uh, I'm a nurse by profession. Okay, so uh, what was your feeling, you know, after failing in your first attempt? Because, you know, these scores are very low, isn't it? And uh, you didn't get the mark for your speaking as well. Uh, could you please elaborate your experience on your first exam? Thank you. Uh, yes, sir. First of all, uh, uh, for my first exam, I think I have prepared for at least three months for my first exam. And I, in my first attempt, I didn't know much regarding the strategies and like uh, how to eliminate the options and uh, the particular strategy. So I think because of that only, I didn't, I didn't get much score in my first attempt. And for speaking, I think because of uh, some problem with the with the recording uh, during my speaking session i uh, i didn't got my speaking marks at that time it was sad to you know hear that you didn't get your score in speaking uh, anyway so now you have jumped your score let's say for in listening you have jumped from 300 in your previous exam to 360 which is a huge difference of 60 marks isn't it it is um, yes, almost sir. you know close to c plus grade to b grade what did you do this time uh, when compared to the, that of your previous exam nisha vasava uh, first of all, I heard uh, from my, one of my friends that you are providing like much good strategies uh, regarding listening and reading. So that's, uh, this, uh, that's the reason I joined your classes. And I think I have learned so much strategies and guidance from your uh, materials regarding listening and reading and by applying that in my practice in daily routine i think i got this good score in my this exam in reading you have scored only 290 in your previous exam but this time it has gone up to 380 which is a huge increase of 90 marks but how long did you take the practice you know from me and how many reading tests did you practice in a throat uh, before you appear in the exam uh, i usually uh, do uh, at least two practice uh, daily otherwise on alternative day so and uh, sometimes i used to do a re a regularly part a also so uh, i i I need to uh, be consistent every day. So at least one or two practice tests every day for reading, sir. During your practice test, what score were you achieving in reading subtests? Uh, first of all, uh, when I used to start practicing uh, by applying your strategies, I used to get like less marks. But uh, by day by day, I'm improving. So I glad glad that i'm improving and i i'm not i'm uh, during my exam i'm little bit so stressed so i don't i didn't know that i'm getting this much marks and all mm, that's great but you have got 380 which is really amazing um so were you able to manage your time in part a of the reading because many people are saying that you know they are not able to manage their time especially in part a of the reading uh, how did you go with that 
yes sir for uh, when i used to practice uh, sometimes it happens that i uh, didn't get time to make all my question and answer and during my exam also uh, i i i left some one or two answers but i i think i have made it in part b or part c wow i that's left amazing. two question in part a wow so in spite of leaving two questions you have scored the 380 that is amazing that's incredible um and but you said you have scored very well in part b and c isn't it usually people yeah. struggle a lot in part b and c what magic did you follow to get really good scores in part b and c uh, uh during my second attempt i think part b was good enough and uh, uh in part c uh, first extract was good and it was like uh, some of it easy also and second extract was a bit difficult so i think that's the reason sir okay were you able to manage your time in part b and c uh, did you get additional time uh, at the end of the part b and c or uh, were you able to just complete those two parts on time Yes, yeah, sir. I I I completed on time only. Okay. Were you able to apply my elimination strategies uh, during the examination as well as in the practice test? Yeah, sir. In part B, uh, I I applied in some of question and part C also. Were you confident at that time itself that your reading part B and C scores were a bit high? Yeah. Okay, that's good. Uh, yes. So, would you like to add anything? Sorry. No, sir. Uh, like uh, I used to score after joining your classes. I used to score good in part B, but uh, in part C, I'm not sure. So, uh, I used to do elimination strategies, and uh, as I told earlier, that part C second extract was a bit difficult. So I I was not sure about my reading and reading. Okay, but uh, you in part um, C for the first extract you did a good job, isn't it? Yes, sir. Okay, I think that could be one of the reasons you might have scored let's say seven out of eight in part in the first extract of part C of the reading. Anyway, that's a fantastic score, and I'm so happy to. see your score which is um, close to you know 400 which is amazing sorry in writing you have got 350 previously but this time it's 320 only why it has got decreased at this time uh i don't know why sir because uh, today uh, last time it was a known case and this time it was a known case and it was like bit lengthy also so okay. i think some of the re uh, main reason is like uh, it is a bit lengthy also and uh, yeah sir okay did you get some time to proofread your uh, letter before you handed it over to the invigilator oh uh, yes sir so you did it right okay yeah good. good yeah that's a good thing i strongly recommend everyone who is watching this video to definitely proofread your oet letter before you can hand it over to the invigilator because proofreading can save your life otherwise you may end up at 280 or 290 in your writing which is very bad isn't it and uh, what is your feedback about my oet letter correction was it up to the mark yes sir it was and uh, like uh, we uh, we used to do every day one letter and one speaking every day with hina yeah so i think this uh, it might be the reason and that we did well from first first time and second time also okay that is amazing and uh, what is your feedback regarding the materials i have shared with you especially for the reading and listening subtests Uh, yes sir i i definitely recommend to go with uh, the reading and listening materials from your academy only because uh, i think for listening and reading it is a it is like toughest material which i have practiced earlier so i highly recommend you to go with this material for reading and listening sir oh that's amazing so during your practice test were you able to consistently score more than 34 or 35 in listening and reading or were you scoring bit less than that 
Yeah, sir. Uh, I used to get some time less. Uh, depend on, depends on material. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, uh, like in uh, in last few days, I used to score good in my listening and reading. That is amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. And I can strongly recommend everyone to go through the hardest materials. I can understand that there are many materials available online, but unfortunately, none of them um, has got the complexity levels that are equivalent to that of the OET uh, reading and listening examination. So it is better to practice the hardest materials and get the desired scores in your practice test itself so that you will be absolutely confident that you are going to crack your reading and listening subtests in the actual exam. And uh, so what, what is your recommendation to the people you know who are appearing in the examination again and again, but failing again and again? Uh, yes, sir. I strongly recommend you to go with the strategies first by applying in daily routine. So by applying daily routine, only they, they come to know about like how to do the particular uh, like particular A, B and C. So they will score much better by applying strategies which you have provided already, sir. Okay, definitely, yes. And uh, did you think, you know, before you came to me, did you think that, you know, you were able to score uh, this time very well? Because it was such a short yeah. time, isn't it? I think you took the course only for one month. Am I right? Yes, sir. Uh, for one month only. And I, I think I have seen your videos on YouTube on also. Mm -hmm. uh, YouTube also. And... Um, uh, during my practice time uh, as I'm improving so I have that confidence and bit stress also but I have some of confidence that I will do this do this at uh, this time so wow that's amazing I'm so happy for uh, your inputs um... very happy so what questions do you have Abita yeah that listening part I couldn't follow the audio how she managed yes was uh, nisha could you please answer that thank you yes sir uh, first uh, first of all some it depends sometimes like you will get some easy easy like voice recording or sometimes you will get difficult recording but you have to like concentrate on what they are speaking so by practicing daily and you have to focus like i said well, you have to focus what they are saying so you you will get better uh, day by day okay thank you uh, yeah. apart from doing the practice test in the listening subtest did you do anything else was avanisha Yes, sir. Uh, as you told uh, us, like uh, by doing regular exercise, yoga, I used to listen every day English songs. So mm -hmm. I think uh, this is the reason I improved so much in my listening. That is correct. Okay. I again uh, yeah, put more stress on the point that you have to listen to a lot of English songs as well as um, ABC and BBC health uh, podcasts yeah, and things sir. like that. And you have to also prepare your mind and body, you know, for the listening subtest by doing, um, you know, a range of activities such as physical activities by playing games, you know, doing meditation, yoga and everything. And Vasavanisha has done a wonderful job. Cool. Regarding reading part C, it, I'm finding difficult with it. Uh, will you please expand it? How you are, uh, you scored well in that? Uh, yes, I definitely uh, like to tell uh, you all that please follow the strategies which sir is uh, teaching you all. So by applying it in every day, like you will improve day by day better and better. So that uh, one of the reason is that only. Okay. Josh Ma, would you like to ask any questions? Yeah, okay, sir. Uh, yes. Congratulations, Nisha. Yes, thank you. Yeah, first of all, I wanted to ask you, like in reading part A, uh, when you were practicing, were you setting your time for 13 minutes or 15 minutes? 
yeah i used to set my time for 13 minutes and if i am not able to do in 13 minutes i used to do in like next next two minutes and mm -hmm. if i am not able to manage in 15 minutes also uh, i used to do it after some days so i i uh, like i'll see i i used to manage it in 30 minutes or not okay so you could finish yeah. in 13 minutes the 20 questions yeah sometimes uh, it depends on like a difficulty level sometimes it is uh, difficult so i i can't able to manage it in 13 minutes so i i fin i i used to manage it in 15 minutes okay thank you yeah i understand thank you uh the reading part yeah how she will manage reading uh, part for uh, sorry. So, how did you manage your time in reading part A and how did you get good score? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, like, uh, as you told earlier, that we have to, uh, like, just scan four paragraphs, not reading all the paragraph. So, I used to scan, like, firstly, main headings only. And by starting from question number eight to uh, by starting question number eight, I used to finish till 20 and in last I used to do one to seven. So the, this only, sir. Okay, that's good. All right. Uh, Sam, would you like to ask any questions? Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. Nisha, congratulations once again. Yes, thank you. I just want to ask, you know, the uh, daily practice, you know, how many practice like you are starting with uh, listening, reading, at least writing three subtests in a day consistently or uh, you are just uh, doing two subtests daily? Uh, no, I used to do like, uh, yeah, by starting from morning, I used to do mm -hmm. li listening first of all. It depends mm -hmm. on my mood, like my mood, uh, I'm uh, in my good mood, I used to do two two three practice for listening test in a day and for mm -hmm. reading one to two practice daily and uh, uh, one writing and one speaking daily wow that oh, is amazing okay, okay. that's yeah. too many yeah. tests isn't it especially you are working isn't it uh, where are you working no or? sir oh no you are not working uh, no sir because of uh, this exam only i took leave for two to three months wow that's amazing but actually you have done a wonderful job by taking leave because you know you can focus fully on study and you have cracked it now look at this course, yes, course. i'm so amazed that's really good uh, but for the people you know who are working like what is your suggestion uh, nisha uh, yes, sir. Uh, I, I think I'll recommend to go with uh, listening and reading every day because by staying consistent only, they will get good score and mm -hmm. they can do like uh, writing and speaking two to three days for one, uh, one, one Once. test. Uh, mm -hmm. So it will be better for them. Okay. No worries. I see. All right. Satya, would you like to ask any questions? Yes, sir. Hi, Nisha. Congratulations. Hello, thank you. Yeah, can you tell me about listening part B and part C? How how you uh, can score that in part B and part C? Is there any strategies? Uh, I don't know. Yes, uh, yes, definitely. As I uh, as sir is teaching a uh, best possible strategies to score good in listening also. So uh, as sir uh, teaches like uh, where you have to focus most and like some words you have to focus most. So I think I'll recommend to go with the strategies to like how to focus on the listening, uh, listening parts and how how to listen and also I think you will get a better score in listening. Kaushika, would you like to ask anything? Uh, first of all, uh, congratulations, Nisha. Yes, thank you. Uh, I would like to ask uh, a part listening, uh, how to score or 22 or 
okay so uh, in my first exam i think i lost much more marks in part a only because i think uh, i have done less practice or because lack of strategies so uh, uh, i think i'll recommend to practice more and more listening test by uh, by listening only you can understand that you are lacking where you are lacking your marks and all so you, you will come to know regarding your less goal so i think this time i have did this only by practicing only i came to know regarding my marks and i used to focus more on like difficult a uh, difficult task where i got some less marks and i used to do it uh, like two to three times also okay one of the good pieces of advice to everyone watching this video is that you have to do the practice test for the listening subtest in the early morning only because that is the fresh time for your brain and it is able to give the best output as far as the listening subtest is concerned i also strongly recommend everyone to do some kinds of breathing exercises and meditation before they can start doing one listening practice test in the early morning and uh, especially you know you have done a wonderful job after uh, you know failing in your first exam i can certainly sense the you know the frustration that you have gone through for not receiving the score for your previous speaking subtest mm -hmm. but this time you know you have got really good scores i'm so happy that you have made 318 in speaking 318 in reading 316 in listening and 320 in uh, writing so i hope you know this score is enough for you to go to any uh, country you know with and start working as a registered nurse there isn't it what yes, is your sir. favorite country uh, did you already start your visa process yes sir uh, i'm processing right now for uk that is amazing yeah that's good yes, sir. so you are going to lead a better life over there isn't it <laughs> yes sir <laughs> definitely so all your struggles and hard work uh, along with the dedication have paid you off and i'm pretty sure you are going to get the visa at the earliest and you will lead a wonderful life in your dream country wasavanisha and uh, i yes, wish you thank all you the so much, sir. i wish you all the very best uh, from the bottom of my heart and i'm pretty sure you should be able to lead an example for all the students you know who are all struggling with their oet examination i can recommend everyone to be strong enough this is going to be only the temporary hurdles but once you pass your oet examination you can live like a queen or a king as a result don't get panicked it's all right uh, everyone passes through the same hurdles same level of depression and rough phase of their life however once you pass your oet examination after get after getting a good quality course i'm pretty confident that you are going to be the winner in the next attempt and i'm also happy to assess your first letter and first role play absolutely at free of cost so if you're watching this video but are failing consistently in your previous examinations please contact me um, i have given my mobile number and email address in the description section of this video so please check out and then let me know if you really like this video um, you can write a comment as well and you can share it with your friends and family members remember that hard work never fails it will only give you but sometimes it may delay so no one is going to stop your success your success may be delayed but you need to have positive attitude that you can make it through and vasavanisha is one of the best examples who recently appeared in the examination and cracked it like a champion i'm so happy and proud of you uh, vasavanisha and i wish you all the very best for your future endeavor as well as uh, registration thank you yes sir thank you so much sir thank you for watching everybody